at least 30, usually higher frame rate, but this game drops it down to about 20. Well, except for, like, I'm at, lower all my graphics. I'm at 60, but it, it'll drop to 50 when I'm moving around a lot. And then Lothaloria yeah. makes my FPS go down to 20 pretty easily. Oh, yeah. Dude, like, if you end up doing a fucking... Like, you, you should totally turn that into a Castle Siege map at some point. I would love to. It's just, like... It's so big. And it's really easy to get around uh, the terrain. Because you can pretty much just climb up the side of the mountain without even worrying about anything right now. Yeah. I would have to, like, take into account defending from, like, the backside, which would be weird. Because you can essentially yeah. walk from the bandit camp that's in the forest, and you can just walk straight over that hill, like, without any trouble at all. Alright. Yeah, I, I tried setting, or, yeah, I did make a castle siege map, but it got broken. Yeah. So... I just scrapped it. It's like, no, 12 hours is gone. <laughs> uh, do you have structural integrity on or off? Uh, on, I believe. You have it on? One way to find out. Uh, uh, God. Oh boy, the G menu is laggy for me. Uh... Yeah, this is about to fall down. Oh, there you go. So yeah, that is, it's on. Yeah, we, we'll have to turn that off. Because I'm pretty sure, I haven't tested it yet, but we're actually going to test it now. Like, since my alt, like holding alt key, uh, and the whole, deleting the whole block, even though I'm holding the alt to delete a face, I'm pretty sure I still have that bug. I'm not sure. I'm not familiar. Yeah. So, like, you usually in the game, like, by default, if you put a block inside of a normal other block, like this wall I have down here, if you hold Alt and right-click on the section you want to delete, it'll just delete that section of the wall that you're looking at, and not yeah. just the whole block. But for me, that's broken. Uh, oh, I haven't been okay. I know what you're talking about. I built La Floria. It's really annoying, because if I'm building with structural integrity on, it's basically essentially getting rid of a whole block, and it just ruins every structure. So I had to build without structure integrity, and then just have to make sure I monitor when it's finished. Yeah, that's pretty lame. But yeah, yeah I mean, dude, after watching your Lothoria videos, like, I was like, oh, that's how you build a structurally sound building. And ever since then, like, I haven't even had to, like, worry about turning it off. When I build yeah. stuff. It's like, oh, that's how you do it. That's how you make a building that works. Yeah, the the, the positioning of like the walls, make sure, you know, everything's supported and there's not too many open spaces. The cathedrals, those get a little complicated for sure. Yeah. I don't know how you do that shit, man. That that takes like a lot of patience, it seems like. Well, since I build with structural integrity off, it it doesn't matter. Um, it's just yeah. I have to make sure by the end of it, it's still structurally sound. I was just working off of what you had going on down here. I figured like down here it could be like a courtyard type area, then it can go up a little bit onto this hill, and this can be the main keep. Oh, I wasn't even like building anything. I was just testing to see if my keys were working. Yeah, but I just figured I'd go off of that. Got to start somewhere. Uh, let's see. So how how big do you want this to be? And like, do you want like specific buildings with it? Uh, just something neat, something that'd be fun to attack and defend. I'm not the best at making uh contractions like catapults and trebuchets. I can turn off the day night cycle, can I? I did. Oh, okay. Well, I think it would be nice. Let's. Um, I usually try and think these through. So, walls, of course, will be nice. But you want to have like a small courtyard, 
uh, maybe a couple little building houses like things, and then just a uh, keep. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Okay. Are you recording by now? Yes, I am. Okay. What uh, other games have you been playing other than Korra? Um, I've been playing a lot of CSGO. Um, shit, dude, uh, I feel like I've been playing something. Oh, yeah, I bought uh, Wolfenstein The New Order on the uh, summer sale. Played through that. That was fun. Nice. I haven't gotten anything from the summer sale. Nothing really jumped out at me. Yeah. I'm waiting for a tabletop simulator to go a bit more on sale. I got that, like, a long time ago. I got that when it first showed up. Yeah. It never really grabbed me until I decided to, like, say fuck it, because it was, like, the 50th time I saw it go on sale. So I was like, okay, I'll look into it. I was like, oh my god, I need this for D&D. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've, I've wanted to do D&D on it for a while. Like, I, I uh... I do, I prefer like 3.5, that's like my favorite D&D. &D. Yeah, I'm not, like, I've played D&D &D before, but never, like, I never, like, was fully to, like, stick to it, you know? Because of, like, just, it's hard to get a group. like, scheduling and whatnot. So that's why, like, Tabletop Sim, like, I saw it, I was like, this is perfect, and just do it from home. If I rain on your parade, like, at all, with, like, blocks that I put in the way, just let me know. I can remove it, or just remove yourself or something. Yeah, I'm just trying to get some sort of shape going that's interesting, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I need to have, like, a flat, like, sideways, uh, horizontal stone piece. They can have... Like a thin wall horizontal? Yeah. Yep. Or like a little art bridge. Art bridge thing. Uh, da, da, da. I guess I do have these. That can work. Yeah, that works for... Uh, definitely if you're using a thick wall like you are. Yeah. Trying to think of how I want the entrance way to work. This can be like a main gate area, I suppose. Yep. And then we can have like the secondary mini gate thing back here. Thinking to have side buildings off the courtyard. Can throw it tower down over here at this corner. I feel like that'd be good. Yeah, uh, if you want to get like a basic shape for the keep, anything that's not just a plain square, like so L, T shapes to... Uh, any, any, really, when you design buildings, I like to just keep two letters. Yeah. Once they add more blocks and styles and stuff like that, I really want to recreate the, uh, I've been wanting to recreate the, uh, Earth Kingdom, uh, palace. Oh. Uh, Ba Sin Se. Yeah. I feel like that'd be really fucking rad. That would take a while. Yeah, but it'd be worth it, dude. Well, it's basically, if you think about it, it's basically Minas Tirith. Just a full circle. I'm not uh, like not like uh, Boston State itself because that'd be way too big. That thing takes up like a quarter so you're of the continent. Just the palace, then. Yeah. Okay, so the giant staircase up into basically something. It's almost kind of built into a mountain. Kind of. I'm gonna have to take another look at it again. I haven't really seen it since I watched uh, Korra. <laughs> Thinking about actually doing the main gate proper. Lothloria did a terrible main gate. 
It is not yeah. very functional at all. I think this one will do a portcullis or something. I can do like small doors, but like gates, I would have to. I mean, I guess it's basically just a bigger small door. Like well, basically just like me. shit that you'd like pull up with a winch. Yeah. What annoyed me is when I had like Lost Loria's main gate. I thought it was cool, like the, the large doors, and I could actually push them open and pull them open. But they get rid of that kind of springiness from the uh, catch block, so I can't yeah. do that anymore. Shit, dude. Do do do. Uh, let's see. Shit. There we go. Almost thought I had an oopsie for a second there. But it's all good. I hope that doesn't fall down while you're building it. Uh, dude, it's gonna be fine. Totally. I it is, it. dude. I, I, I made sure it's all supported and whatnot. Do, do, do. This window down here is kind of sticking through a staircase. Uh, you're right. Oh, nothing happened. Don't look. I saw nothing. It's all right. <laughs> Good, because there's nothing to see. Ah! Things are annoying, dude. What, the staircases? Yeah, and like, just trying to put a good roof on it. I'm going to go with a square tower. Hopefully it's not too big. Rectangular, square, same thing. Yeah, it's all the same. Though, like, you don't want to go too wide. Just because it's, uh... It's sound. Yep. Yep. More crime. Oh, 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 no, 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 nothing happened, don't look. I'm, I didn't really see it, but I saw nothing, a big nope. shadow. <laughs> nope, you see nothing. <laughs> I'm actually going to keep that tower like that because that looks cool. Well, you want to do a ruined castle? Just a tower that nobody decided to fix because that's actually what's happening. No, you don't actually want to build the whole like structure at cool. once. So, like, get a floor plan going before you go upwards, and that'll really help the structural integrity. Good idea. You're the boss, boss. How do I want this to work? It's always the question. Do you want square towers for the front or round? Um, up to you. I think it'll be nice with square and then the keep can have round towers. So there's a contrast. That looked cool. That was me placing blocks. That's the uh, best music to place blocks too. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's like the the paradox for every YouTuber. There's just the moments of silence they have to go and work through. Yeah, yeah, it's rough. Shit. 
Like, I've had, like, friends of mine tell me, like, I don't know how you do it, man. Like, just talking constantly. And it's like, I don't know. I don't really try to. I just kind of talk about what I see and hope that it's cool. Pretty much. Like, I, I consider myself, like, very unentertaining in the sense that I'm very monotone. And yeah. I'm, ju I'm just such a mellow person that I don't, I'm not very easily excitable. I'm not, like, a Jacksepticeye by any means. So <laughs> it's very... Um, I just find my videos very monotone. And I want to, like, get away from that, but it's just really hard personally. I, I think it's easier to commentate when you have someone to ta uh, talk to. Totally. Which is which is why I started uh, just doing like the dual commentaries with Tom on car and whatnot. Yeah. I, I don't usually record when other people are home because I just don't like the chance of them like coming in and being like, "Hey, what's up?" And I'm just like, "Ah, oh, fuck off." <laughs> yeah, that's why I usually I have like a sign for my roommate, um, since so he doesn't like just. Bust in. Jacking off in here. Well, the sign has multiple purposes. <laughs> recording, and then there's another one that says recording in quotes. Well, there's a recording sign, and then everything else, I just hang a tie on my doorknob. And, uh, <laughs> they, they understand. <laughs> Perfect. It works out for everyone. They don't walk in on you jerking off, and you don't have people walking on you, walking in on you. Jerking Pretty much. Off. Oh fuck! Accidentally deleted shit. That's the uh, story of medieval engineers. <laughs> yeah, this is being a hassle with me. Why is it not? It's not flipping around. What I can't... is it? This uh the uh like uh th that thing. It's not flipping around for me. I, I don't know how you did that. You're a wizard. So Ooh, without of a design. So you need to like rotate it and then flip it. Oh wait. So you get it yeah, lined up was, on was the just... right side of the wall, and then you just rotate it to the right yeah, side, I was just basically. Using... Q &E. It's not really rotating. Spin it. I mean, rotating is the actual Q and E one. 